Welcome to Pointwise's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a couple of minutes. Today we're discussing the size field and how it's calculated. The examine size field metric is a very useful metric for looking at target edge lengths of a block before it is initialized. But where do we get these values and how are they computed? That's what today's video is about. The size field comes from three different entities. We're going to start with just two of them, boundaries and background spacing. Simply put, boundaries are the surface mesh. This applies to the surface as well as the far field. You can control these by controlling these domains. The background spacing is the target edge length in that volume. It can be adjusted in the grid solve size field tab. How fast cell sizes transition from boundaries to background spacing is based upon the decay. You can adjust the decay on the same size field tab in the block solver. A fast transition would have a lower value and a very slow transition would have a higher value. All values must be between zero and one. There's a third entity that comes into play here and it brings its own decay value and that is sources. Sources populate more points into a given volume to increase cellular density. Sources also have a decay value, but it doesn't match the one from boundaries and background spacing. So let's look at how we can adjust the size field of a given block. This is the block we already saw. If I look at the size field, I can see that the maximum is 18, and it looks about like this. If I go to grid solve, I can decrease the background spacing to say a value of 20. And now you see the maximum predicted edge length has gotten smaller. Similarly, to increase that blue zone in the middle, I can increase the decay. Like so. Finally, I can turn on a source, and that will also impact the size field. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button to subscribe for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, or ideas for future videos, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all. Have a pleasant Tuesday.